Chapter 10. The True Pearl. Dawn light slanted into the treehouse. No time at all had passed since they left. Day was breaking. Jack rolled up the ancient scroll and he tucked it into the corner. We solved the first riddle, he said. Three more to go. I don't see another scroll, said Annie. Maybe tomorrow we'll get the next riddle. That's okay, said Jack. I think I need to rest and dry out. His t-shirt and shorts were still soaked. His backpack, too. Only his shoes and socks were dry. And this needs to dry out, too, said Annie, and she put the wet ocean book in a patch of sunlight. Then Jack and Annie climbed down the ladder. They walked through the woods, through the leafy shadows in the golden light. They left the woods and started down their street. You know, we should have found the answer to the riddle right away, said Jack. The oyster was on the reef all along. I know, but we wouldn't have had so much fun, said Annie. Fun, said Jack. You call being squeezed by an octopus and chased by a shark fun? Don't forget the dolphins, Annie said simply. Jack smiled. Right, he said. The dolphins made up for everything. They were fun. I guess they were the true pearl in the oyster, said Annie. Yep, said Jack. I wonder what Sam is doing right now. Sam? Annie grinned at him. You're nuts, she said. They climbed the steps and into their house. We're back, Annie shouted. Did you get your shoes wet? Their mom called. Not one bit, called Jack. And then he and Annie slipped up the stairs to change their clothes. And that's the it. That's it for that book. We will start um, book number 10, probably tomorrow. I'm missing you all. Hoping you are enjoying our stories. Take care.